I was serious about what I said before. As soon as you're able, I want us to start again and try and have a family together. Well, look, you don't have to worry about that right now, sweetheart. I'm just so scared for you. I'm just so thankful that you're all right now. Yeah, I was pretty lucky. You know, the doctor said that you've been here with me the whole time. Yeah, you bet I have. They even rode in the ambulance with me. Yeah, that's right. How'd you happen to be there when the accident happened? Oh, well, I, I had just been driving in the other direction. I saw the wreck. I mean, God. I mean, can you imagine the way that I felt? I pulled up and the police and paramedics were already there. Two truck drivers had pulled over. I think my heart just about stopped when I realized that your car was involved in that accident. Darling, what happened anyway? Did, did you really just lose control of the car or, or what? Well, you know, there's something I haven't told you. What, what is that? What happened? You can trust me. What? When I came back from Hawaii, remember those messages? Yes. Well, one of them was a, a typed note signed from Cruz asking me to meet him at the boathouse. Cruz? Yes. But you didn't mention it, did you? Well, no, only because it seemed kind of strange. Well, why would he want to see you? What, about what? Why at the boathouse? I don't know. That's why I s thought it was kind of strange, because I thought he'd left town. But you said that he didn't show up. So that means that you did go to the boathouse. Yes. And when I got there, there wasn't anybody's car there, and that's what made me a little suspicious. What did you do? Well, I went inside to wait for him. And when I walked in and I turned around, Gina was standing there with a gun. A gun? He's making me do this. Don't you understand? Now he's going to kill us both without a right to cover. <laughs> It was terrible, you know. She was threatening to kill me. And I had, I reached for the gun and we fought about, and it went off and she fell in the water. And I tried to go for her, but it was really terrible, Kurt. Your poor baby, of course it was. I just can't believe it. That it She's just coming out of nowhere, carrying a gun. Did she say anything? Oh, I don't remember. Everything happened so fast. Not a word, though? Nothing? Nothing. Crazy woman. I just hope that she drowned. Man, honestly, I think that we'd all be better off if she were out of our lives for good. She didn't hurt you, did she? No. But fighting with her did, and I... When I went to my car and I got in it, I guess that's when I passed out at the wheel. Damn. I've heard her make threats, so many of them. Well, I guess that we all have. I just never dreamed that she'd actually try to kill you. Well, obviously. She typed that note herself to lure you down to that boathouse. And darling, I'm so sorry. I just can't believe this terrible ordeal that you've been put through. I just wish I had been there to protect you. something that made you feel that way. Did, did, are you sure Jeannie didn't say anything that would have made you think that somebody was there? No, Jeannie didn't say anything. Well, did you hear something? No. I mean, I don't know. It was probably just my imagination. I was pretty upset. Listen to me. I, I, I think this is very dangerous. 
What? I don't think that you should say anything to anybody about what happened in that boathouse. Why? Well, darling, what if Gina's body is found? And how can you prove that you were only defending yourself? You know, you, you just may find that you're charged with murder. Eden, you can't tell Cruz or anyone else. If your father dies, you could be charged with murder. Well, don't worry about that. I'll protect you, just like before. Let me protect you. I'll say you were here with me the whole night, so you couldn't have been the one who cut off your father's life support system. Well, what do you say? I really don't want to make any decisions right now. Do you think you could leave me alone for All right, a sweetheart, but I... We've got to give this a little thought, or okay? Will you get some sleep now? I'm just so upset whenever I think about us losing that child to that accident. Well, I talked to the doctor. It wasn't a car accident that made me lose the baby. It... Well, I had cramps when I was at the boathouse. It was what happened there that made me lose the child. I wanted that child. I know, sweetheart, but we're going to have another child. I'm going to make up to you for this, this horrible tragedy that's happened, darling. You'll see. We'll have as many children as, as you want. A dozen. I know we have all kinds of time. Do you think you could just go now? Sure. Are you sure there isn't anything else that you, that you need before I go? No, really. Thank you. Will you try and get some rest then? Get well for both of us. Why can I trust him? He's making me do this. Don't you understand? Now he's gonna kill us both without a to cover. Jenny didn't say his name. She didn't say anybody's name. How could it be Kurt? Kirk uh, just stepped down the hall. I thought I'd check on you. I sent a nurse to find you. You did? Well, I knew you'd still be here. I'm sorry about what happened. I'm very sorry. The baby would have been the only good thing to come of my marriage. And I really would have liked to have had it. Now I don't even want to think about it. Or Kirk. Oh, God. I know you wanted the baby. Well, I did. But I didn't. I mean, I've been taking the birth control pills. Kirk wanted to have children. I wanted to wait. And now before I even get a chance to think about it, it's all over. Do you remember what happened to you last night? Well, there's some things that I'm really sure about, and then there's others I'm kind of confused about. Do you want to tell me? I'll try. As much as I hate to say it, I don't think you want to sit there because Kurt might come back. Yeah. Yeah, he's been here day and night, day and night since they brought you in. I don't really want to talk about it. Cruz, I need you now, more than I've ever needed you. And if I'm gonna get through this, I'm gonna need your help. You know you got it. I'm glad. Because I'm scared. And I need you to help me be strong. You've always helped me to do that before. And I need it now more than ever. 